Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I really wish I had some type of rap on because we're smoking that Sixers pack tonight, baby. 102 to 94 for the Detroit Pistons and honestly win or lose, I was going to make a Pistons video tonight. Welcome back to the channel. Post a ton of Pistons videos and NBA content on this channel every day. Let's try and get 102 likes for the Pistons amount of points scored tonight against the finals team in the 76ers well james harden was clamped and joel mb just wasn't enough so this was a phenomenal win and it kind of gets me to the whole big picture here detroit not hasn't necessarily been like on a win streak they haven't necessarily been compiling wins in the last couple of, of games but every single game in the month of march this is the last day of march at the time it's recording every game in the month of march was a close game pretty much single digits. I actually think every game was a single digit loss. And usually what actually ends up happening recently was Detroit will kind of like have the lead or it'll be another, you know, neck in that game. And then the defense just kind of gives, or I shouldn't say gives up. The defense just kind of doesn't work. And the other team wins. And it's always like a one possession, three point loss, two point loss. And it really hasn't mattered who Detroit has played. Obviously, Philadelphia is one of the most talented teams in the entire NBA with James Harden, Joel Embiid, but it doesn't stop there. You got Thibel, you got Tyrese Maxey, you got Tobias Harris. And Detroit tonight held them to 94 points. Held them to 94 points. This was a huge, very nice victory. And, you know, one thing I've been talking about a lot on this channel is Detroit, if they get a top four pick, I mean, really even a top five pick, which they're going to get. I mean, this team, like, legitimately could be, probably will be actually more of a statement, not a hypothetical. This team will be a playing tournament at the very least next season. The development of Cade Cunningham throughout the entirety of the season has been beautiful. But I actually want to start tonight's video out talking about Killian Hayes. You might look at Killian's stats tonight and not think too much of it. He played 26 minutes. He had his fifth straight game where he scored in double digits, 10 points. Uh, what do we got there? Two, I can't, can I not read? One rebound, two assists, and three steals. But an even more impressive five of eight from the field. Finished plus 16, which was team high. Killian Hayes has been balling his ass off, and they're trusting him, and they're playing him late into basketball games. People forget all the time, I got to remind them, most Pistons videos I make where I talk about Killian, like, tore his hip, and he's 20 years old. I mean, don't give up on the cat just yet. He played like 20 games for him last year, hasn't been healthy or wasn't healthy in like the first half of the season, kind of, you know, in and out, in and out. So Killian Hayes, don't, don't give up or forget about Killian Hayes. There's a reason he was picked number seven in the draft. Jeremy Grant, I do think is going to end up getting traded in the off season. And I don't know how Detroit's I don't like I'm really interested to see what the return is going to be on that. Maybe they don't trade Jeremy Grant. If they don't trade Jeremy Grant, another reason why they're going to be in the playing tournament, but they just have to fill in the holes in the rest of the roster as the years go on. Troy Weaver's a genius. I think we all know that. And Kate Cunningham really has been the dude all season. He was my pick for rookie of the year. I don't know if he'll actually end up winning it, but 27 points, two rebounds, six assists, four steals for him tonight. The scariest part about Kate Cunningham, in my opinion, is he's averaging what he's averaging this season on pretty bad shooting. I mean, the efficiency just has not really been there. You believe he's like a 31% three-point shooter this season, field goal percentage, low 40s. It's going to come, right? It's going to come. You'll see it in certain games tonight, 12 of 20 from the field. Who's complaining about that along with four steals? Offense, defense, it's only going to improve. It really is only going to improve. So I don't think the lead's really ready for Kate Cunningham to be a Detroit Piston. It was so cool tonight, like literally just the victory 29 to 15 outscored Philadelphia in the fourth quarter. You guys know I used to live outside of Detroit in Northfield. Like Detroit was loud. I was actually kind of, I was kind of thinking in my head, like, well, what if I was like at this game? Like it would be kind of fun just to drive up to Detroit for a night and watch a basketball game. But I think that's going to have to happen next year with the season pretty much ending. It was just loud bro and i actually had to unfortunately watch the sixers broadcast because it was a different you know streaming it and they kept mentioning i hate sixers broadcast i'm sorry sixers fans if any are watching this video but 
even they kept saying like the whole damn fourth quarter like it is loud in here it's super loud you can feel it in here like it was loud uh Sadiq Bey another phenomenal basketball talent there's no there's a reason he dropped 50 points there was a reason two weeks in I want to say January he was dropping 30 bombs left and right tonight 20 points not his most efficient basketball game he did have a huge three Killian Hayes set him up beautifully in the corner towards the end of the basketball game but Sadiq's one of those players who I don't know if it's because he's it might be just because he's on Detroit uh, that he doesn't get much love and appreciation. I really don't understand it. The guy dropped 50. The guy is having a phenomenal season. The guy had a phenomenal rookie season last year. Not a soul was talking about Sadiq Bey last season. So I guess in that regards, it is kind of nice that there's a little bit more talk going around Sadiq. But I mean, even living here in Chicago, like it's not like anyone has ever come up to me and been like, so you know what? Sadiq Bey actually has a lot of potential. It's bullshit. But anyways... Uh, moving on, Marvin Bagley got injured tonight. That sucks. Uh, good thing it's the end of the season because they found a gem. I mean, they found a gem in them. They absolutely maneuvered, maneuvered Sacramento. What maneuver could possibly be smoother? I don't know. But Marvin Bagley's definitely got a future over here in Detroit. Isaiah Stewart, another just kind of young, promising guy. He's obviously got a lot of kinks he needs to work out, particularly, in my opinion, on the offensive end. Tonight finished with zero points, but he did have 12 rebounds, which was nice against Joel. Kelly Olynyk, <laughs> the end of the season clinic. This guy on my Rockets last season just was just dropping 20 and 10s on every team's head at the end of the last year. And tonight, didn't miss a shot. But I got to give some love to Isaiah Livers because... This guy, first off, he went 3 of 4. He went 3 of 4 from downtown. He had 9 points, finished plus 11, only played 21 minutes. But man, oh man, were those three threes nice, particularly his final three in the last couple of minutes on a nice little pick and pop with Kelly Olynyk. I think the future is bright with him. He just needs more of a little, more of an opportunity. Keep in mind, a lot of these younger players, they're kind of fighting for rotational minutes. They're, you know, fighting for, you know, the coach's edge. Like, they're fighting for a lot of things right now. Um, so Isaiah Livers, like, I would imagine next season, hopefully, you know, if he doesn't, I really hope he does have a little bit more of a role on this Detroit Pistons squad. But like I said, man, we got the draft honestly not that far away. It's pretty much April. Um, so the season's almost over. Detroit 21 and 56. You are kind of, you know, you don't have the worst record. I think that belongs to Houston and Orlando at the current moment. But all hope is not lost. You know, obviously you don't, just because you're not the first, you know, worst record doesn't mean you you can't get the first pick. I think more with Detroit, though, is any top four, it's any top five pick would absolutely terrify me. So that's it for today, man. Let's try and hit 102 likes. As always, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later.